Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am in a new location for this video. I am actually downstairs in my house. Uh, <clears throat> very rare for me to um, do a Sunday video. But um, yesterday I uh, went out for the day up to uh, Manchester, which is about an hour away from where I am. <clears throat> done a bit of hunting and uh, made a few pickups so let's go ahead and see what I got the <clears throat> the first pickup I made actually something I very rarely do is get a Hot Wheels car but I had to pick this one up I've had my army for a while and that is the Batmobile from the animated Batman series. I got this in uh, the Entertainer. Uh, it was only one pound sixty six, which is not a bad deal. And the the car just looks absolutely amazing. Um, it'll look good sitting on my uh, DC and Marvel shelf in my collector's cupboard. Um, after that, I also uh, picked up some comic books, as I've shown off in the last couple of update videos. Um, I'm a fan of Marvel's uh, Budget Line, which is basically they reprint old stories and sell them for a dollar a piece. Um, <clears throat> so I went to um. A Forbidden Planet International store and uh, picked up three. I think these are the latest ones to have come out. Uh, first one is um, Marvel's Greatest Creators What If, starring Spad Gale. And this is a story that came from. Doesn't say what year it's from, but it's uh, from the, I believe it was the 90s, the Marvel What If Land. Um, that's basically a new take on Spider-Man if uh, Spidey was female. Um, the next one I picked up is Misty Knight and Iron Fist. And this, again, it doesn't say what year it's from, but it was from the um, Marvel premiere uh, line of comics. Um, again, I don't know what year it's from. I think this might be late, late 80s, early 90s, but... I'll definitely check that one out. And then the final one is uh, Luke Cage Power Man. And again, uh, it doesn't say what year it was taken from, but again, I'm guessing it's 80s, maybe early 90s. Well, definitely look forward to reading them. So now on to the media. And first three pick up, I've got six uh, DVDs and Blu-rays to show. The first three I um, got after doing a clear out of my um, collection, traded some stuff into CX or voucher and put that voucher to good use. Picked up three Blu-rays. The first one is a Hammer film. Um think this was about eight pounds but uh, Frankenstein and the monster from hell this is the final um, film in Hammer's Frankenstein series <clears throat> and the last one um, directed by Terence Fisher uh, it's a three disc set it's one blu-ray two DVDs um, as far as special 
features go um on the blu-ray um hd main feature restored original theatrical aspect ratio um there's an ultimate full frame version an audio commentary with shane bryant Malin smith and marcus hearn um a documentary on the making of the film a documentary about uh, Tens Fisher directing a hammer and an animated stills gallery. Um, and the DVD has the same, um, the same features, but there's also a PDF on this two on the second DVD. Um, a PDF booklet. Uh, written by Marcus Hearn and Jonathan Rigby about the film, and this um, this came out in 1973. The next one I picked up is from ETA Films Slash Classics Collection. I was debating back and forth whether to get this one or not. Uh, finally decided to get it. It was only six pounds. And that is Don't Go Into the Woods. Uh, this came out in, does it say, I think it came out in 1981. Yeah, 1981. Um, it was on the uh, infamous Video Nasties list here in the UK. Um, as with all the Slasher Classics collection releases, it does have a reversible artwork, which is just the same artwork as this, but it removes the ATA Films logo, the classification logo, and the banner on the top. Uh, as far as special features go, it's a brand new 2K transfer. Overseen and approved by director James Bryan. Uh, an audio commentary with James Bryan. Um, a group commentary with Bryan, Derek Miller, Miller and Mary Gail Arts. Making of documentary um, talk show appearance, don't know what that's about. Uh, theatrical trailer, post and production stills gallery, um, and a trailer reel for. Other ATA films titles. So I'm curious to check this one out. And the final pick up is the one I was so happy to get. I've been want wanting to get this since it um come out on Blu-ray. I missed out on seeing it in the cinemas last year. I'm a big fan of this franchise as the 2018 Halloween. I've heard mixed things about this. Some good, some bad. But it's um, made by Bloomhouse, who's done the fantastic Get Out. Get Out. So uh, I hope when a family sit down and watch this, this would be really good. Um, as far as features go, uh, there's deleted and extended scenes, um, a featurette called Back in Haddonfield, m making of, um, a feature on Jamie Lee Curtis, um, uh, other featurettes called Sand of Fear, Journey of the Mask, and The Legacy of Halloween. I'm probably going to pop this in tonight. If there's nothing else on, just to see um, what it's like. So that was what I got in CX. And the final three pickups I'm going to show you came from HMV. First two titles are from their two for £13 deal. The first one, this was just um, a random pickup. Um, I've never seen 
I've seen bits and bobs of the original cartoon, but I've never seen the new cartoon this is based on. But I've heard this is really a really fun animated film. That is Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Um, and it's basically a big screen, um, big screen version, like a big screen extended episode of Teen Titans Go. Um, uh, basically it's about the Titans, uh, trying to get into the film industry and, uh, Deathstroke trying to stop them. Also, uh, by the looks of it, features cameos by the DC Trinity, um, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, which should be fun to see. Um, sp- as far as special features go, there's um, a little yakti music video, and three sing alongs, um, featurettes. Uh, WB Lot Shenanigans, uh, DC Superhero Girl Show called Dolly Batsby, and Red Carpet Mayhem, um, deleted scenes and more. Plus, it comes with a digital copy. Um, that digital copy will probably be going up on, um, on my eBay page. So check that one out. Uh, the other title I got from uh, that offer is another 80 Films title, and this one, it told me for um, two things alone, the artwork and the fact that it stars um, absolute legends of um, horror cinema, Lene Quigley, and uh, is creepazoids i mean just look at that artwork uh it's basically like a a take on aliens i'm guessing it's made by charles bands who um from full moon who's behind like so the puppet master films so it's gonna have that cheesy factor um, for special features, uh, brand new HD master restore from the original 35mm camera negative, um, original stereo and uh, 5.1 surround sound soundtracks, brand new um, audio commentary with director David DiCotto, newly created English subtitles and a reversible sleeve as ever. I mean, that main artwork, that new artwork is fun enough as is, but I mean, that original artwork is just brilliant as well. And this is from, um, I think originally it was on ATA Films um, Slasher Line. I'm not can't remember to be sure, but in the it's number four in the vault line. Uh it it might it might be bad, but it might be fun. But for essentially six pound fifty, I was gonna pick that up. And the final pick up, as you as you'll know, reviewing the channel, I am a big wrestling fan. Um, and I was looking around mainly for the two for thirteen pounds offer, and they had a shelf um full of wrestling titles, uh, three disc sets, reduced to five pounds. Um, I was looking through them, not seeing anything that I wanted to pick up, and then I come across this. I had the ve- first volume of this and smash through it in a day and um i'm sure this will be no exception 
is the Attitude Area Attitude Era rather Volume Two. Um, this is just chock full of uh, matches and moments. If I just take the sleeve out, because the inner sleeve's got some amazing artwork as well. You've got uh, Mankind, The Rock, Triple H, and I'm guessing that's Sable. Um, but among the stuff they've got on this is um, stuff like uh, the very first match between Stone Cold and Vincent Mann, uh, which was a rating smash. Um, Uh, what else is there? Um, uh, just a um a lot of really uh fun matches and moments. Uh, it covers um March of nineteen ninety seven through two. July 2000 um, uh, like, there's a lot of tag team matches there's a lot of hardcore matches um, there's some really fun segments so for £5 this is going to be an excellent pick up I'm pretty tempted now um, as I'm uh, back and work on Tuesday with it being the bank holiday weekend here in the UK. Uh, I'm tempted to go and look on the HMV on Monday uh, to see um, if there's anything else they've got for uh, that price. But that is it. That is my update video for today. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment down below. If you've seen any of the films uh, that I've shown off, what you think of them. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will be back. Not sure when exactly. Um, maybe when I've got some more pickups. Um, I do have to nip out tomorrow uh, to get some stuff. So I might... There's a cash converter local. I might have a those in there, see if they've got anything new in. Um, but as far as this video goes, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. I've been the Blue Geek, this has been Blue Geek Reviews. Bye.